from neutralizing soil acidity, ayan, limelight, calcium carbonate may also A, improve soil structure, B, improve soil texture, C, increase CEC, D, both A and C. Okay, D down. Kasi sinabi ko na kanina. Okay, so the answer is D. Okay, remember, never mo tong may improve yung soil texture. Kung anong texture mo, yun at yun na yun. Kahit baligtarin mo yung mundo, okay, kahit, um, ano, kahit, ano pa, kahit magbalikan pa kayo, kahit maghiwalay kayo, ganun pa rin yung texture, no? Kahit magbalikan pa si Moira at si Jason. Hello? <laughs> so, what are the order, ato, what order predominates in the Philippines? So, is it A, Vertisol, B, Andisol, C, Enceptisol, D, Ultisol? A, Vertisol, okay. B, Andisol. Okay. So, okay. So, now let's go. No? Uh, elimination method tayo. Okay. So, C. So, when we say Enceptisol, uh, Philippines, let's say Philippines. So, Philippines, no? In terms of soil formation, tropical region has the more mature soils. Okay? Kumpara mo sa temperate countries, pag tropical country ka, ibig sabihin, yung soil na meron ka is mas maraming mature. Kasi mas grabe ang weathering na nangyayari. So, inceptisol, out na. Okay? Kasi maliit lang yung dehorizon niya. So, hindi ganun ka mature. Okay, now we have your andisol, ultisol, and vertisol. Okay. So, your andisol, no? Greater than 35% base saturation. And sad to say, guys, ang case ng Pilipinas ay hindi ganon. We don't have greater than 35% base saturation. Okay. Meron man, okay. Meron, but hindi ganon kadami. Okay. Okay. Correct ko lang sarili ko. Meron, pero hindi ganun kadami. It's not predominant. Next, we have, oh, dalawa na lang, vertisol and ultisol. Okay? Marami tayong um, palayan sa Pilipinas, di ba? So, one of the characteristic no, of vertisol is cracking clay. Okay? So, however, this, uh, this criteria for vertisol is pa hanggang ilan da ano kalalim 85 ay, 85 meter depth okay dapat yung crack niya okay mostly hindi nagie-exhibit ng ganon okay although may crack siya pero hindi siya vertisol we have ul mas predominant ang ultisol sa Pilipinas. Okay, guys. Bukod sa ito, thick ang kanyang B-horizon, no? Mababa lang ang, mostly ng soil sa Pilipinas, mababa lang ang base saturation. Why? No? Kasi, uh, acidic lagi ang condition ng lupa natin. Okay? So, uh, ang ano natin, ang pH natin range from 5.5 Uh, six no six to five okay six to five slightly acidic okay so that dun pa lang no mababa na yung base saturation natin and it is a tropical country no meaning to say thick B horizon and your ultisol okay isa yun sa properties niya thick B horizon din okay okay Loss of nitrogen to the atmosphere in the form of ammonia. Okay. Ammonification, sir. So what is the answer? 
Okay. So yes, the, okay, the answer is a ammonification. Loss of nitrogen to the atmosphere in the form of ammonia. Okay? Loss of nitrogen, no? However, if the question is formulated na, uh, tawag dito, transformation of uh, ammonium to ammonia or NO2, nitrous oxide, to ammonia. Oh, tama. Nitrous oxide to ammonia. Okay? So, hindi na ammonification ang sagot doon. Pag ano. Okay? Nitrification. Okay? NO2 to ammonia. 1, 2. Ah, sorry. Denitrification. Okay? Denitrification ang sagot doon. Kasi yung, okay, explain ko. Kasi yung uh, nitrous oxide, that is your NO2. No, NO2. So, si NO2 nyo mag-undergo ng nitrification. It will form nitrite. So, nitrification. And from nitrite, makoconvert to ammonia, that is denitrification. Uh, denit nitrification, um, ang responsible organism, again, is nitrosomonas. Denitrification, ang responsible organism ay si nitrobacter. Okay. Yan. So, soils with high clay content and base saturation, fertile, not cracking, and can support good crop growth. Anong sagot? Uy, guys, overtime na pala tayo. A, 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 Ultisols. So, guys, A ang sagot niyo. Okay, A daw. So, D, Antisol. Okay. Okay. Okay, punta tayo. Let's go. High clay content and base saturation. Base saturation, mababa si ultisol, X. Oxisols, kasali ba ito sa, ano niya? Sa, sa tawag dito? <laughs> sa, <laughs> ano nang pangalan nun? Alfisol, sagot ko. Uh, oxisol, kasali ba yun sa classification niya, no? Base saturation. Or sa properties, yes, tama. Okay, sa so properties niya. <laughs> Hindi naman, di ba? So, X. Alfisol. Again, alfisol versus, alfisol versus ultisol. Ang pinagkaiba nila is base saturation. Si base saturation ni ultisol, mababa. Si... Uh, So, the base saturation ni uh, alfisol, 35% greater than. So, ito yung sagot. Mm -hmm. Andisol, uh, anong property ni Andisol? Si Andisol, ano na na siya? Okay, tama. Volcanic origin. Volcanic. Okay, kaya hindi Andisol yung sagot. Okay, next. Combination of all management and land use method to safeguard the soil against depletion, loss, and deterioration by natural and or man-induced factors. Okay? C po C. C? C? Okay, so tama. No? The answer is C. Andiyan na. Oh, ito na. Keyword, keyword. Okay, management. Lahat ng management. Si Uslenyo is just a tool on soil conservation. Okay? It's, it, your, your universal soil equation is used to measure the, uh, tawag ito, the amount of erosion na nag-occur. Pero hindi siya yung ginagamit talaga. It's just a tool. Next. Organic horizon that exhibit or possess histic epipedon belonging to this order. C C B B 
Guys, Kisol. keyword. Bitter B. Kistig Epipedon. Kist. Histosol. Okay? Your histosol is an organic soil exhibit. Again, no? To, ang histosol, 20 to 30%. Ganun ka OA, yung organic matter niya. 